Uh, life is absurd, as you've probably discovered. <laughs> and it's the absurdities which make people laugh. Uh, age is uh, not relevant to the film. Um, <laughs> my name is Frank Dunster. For a third of my life now, in other words, the last 20 years, I've uh, slept on the boat, which has been moored in one of the more picturesque creeks uh, off Hailing Island. remember in my childhood days when the family home was on the seafront uh, there was a dramatic rescue in the bay where two people in a fishing boat were pulled out of the water and uh, uh, their lives were, were saved and from that moment uh, I wanted to be a rescuer. I've been doing rescuing now every weekend since 1969 and every day since 1987. I have struggled uh, over the years um, in paying my bills, but as long as yeah. someone slipped me 20 quid, help, <laughs> a couple right. of times a week I'm, I'm able to buy food. A strong southeasterly airflow will affect the United Kingdom during today, with rain spreading northeastwards. It will become quieter and drier from the south during Saturday. I was what was then called a stock jobber on the London Stock Exchange. A big change happened in 1987. It was a major mistake and I was fortunate enough to be fired from my particular firm which meant that uh, two things, I got out of the, the madhouse and secondly I ended up doing rescue work full-time. Full when the recession bit back in 1992, I had the choice between selling my house or the boat. So I sold my house, kept the boat and paid off all my loans and overdrafts. It is a, a great privilege to be in a position to go out and rescue someone. I've, I've lived on my own all my life in the sense that I was the youngest in my family by, by far. My two sisters were a lot older than me, so by the time I was approaching my teens, they were married with children. So I've always lived um, uh, a single life and going to school off the island, uh, I was the only one who went to that school, so I've always led a lonely existence in going to school and in doing what I do over, over the years. I am unmarried and no children and uh, uh, relatives to support. Um, it's been very much a, a struggle which someone with other responsibilities would not be able to cope with. I went for a walk around the island on Christmas Day last year. It was a nice sunny day, although it was a bit cold. There's lots of ups and downs in family life. Probably I've made myself remote from family life in order not to suffer those ups and downs. There's enough dramas in doing the rescue work, let alone going, going home to them. I 
why quite bizarre things because of the, not having a house. So I might have for my evening meal a block of cheese and a bar of chocolate. Um, it's, it's difficult in the extreme because you have to all the time baffle the elements, not only out doing the rescues but also the financial elements and also the rugged way of life. Amongst all that uh, is the constant being on edge because there might be a rescue to do. I've reached a situation where if I'm unable to climb back on my own boat unaided, that, that's the time I'm going to give it all up. I have no uh, qualms on leaving the scene eventually because I know there's lots of splendid people who will come in and uh, take over from what I do.